What's going on Scorpio? My name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. Scorpio, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy, and I'll see who's coming and going. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And stay tuned till the end of your reading while we'll pull your affirmation for today and your spirit animal. All right, so let's dive right in. See what we got going on. Wow, you got the Ace of Pentacles, Judgment, Knight of Swords, and the Five of Swords. You also got the Ten of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. So a lot of new opportunities. Six of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Right now you can expect some sort of financial relief to come your way. So if you've been waiting for like a line of credit increase, you've been waiting for a, you know, a new credit card, maybe a promotion at work, but there's some sort of financial relief coming your way, some sort of freedom, some sort of energy, some sort of wealth that is not only going to help you, you know, get what you're looking for, but give you the freedom to say no, right? Freedom to say no. For example, like, would you like to come into work today? You know what? I think I'll skip today because I have enough money to pay my bills. Would you like to, you know, do something that you don't necessarily want to do? No, I think I'll say no. And that's what money gets you. It buys you freedom. And in order to get this, source is telling you one thing, only focus on what you control. So important. Only focus on what you control. Why? Because it's like, Imagine energy and money are the same thing. Both of them are not limitless, right? So both of them are something that you have to value. I'll give you an example. Right now, imagine if you have $100 in your bank account. Now, you need that money to survive. You need that money to buy food, pay for shelter. You need that money for gas if you're going to work. You don't have enough money to be handing around to people, especially people that are not you know too kind to you right like someone cuts you off in the car you're not writing them a check same thing here it's like when you are focusing on what you control that energy is being utilized correctly so if you're focusing on for example like imagine if it rains and you're like oh it's raining you don't control whether or not it rains, right? So don't even focus on that. Or you're driving, you hit traffic. You know, you don't control whether there's traffic or not, so don't focus on that. Conserve your energy, cons conserve your, really your wealth by fo focusing on what you do control. That is how you attract what you're looking for. Now, you also got the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. So monetizing a passion is what I'm hearing right now. You are going to be able to monetize a passion, create wealth, generational wealth, and also be able to incorporate a lot of new almost like experiences while you go along for this journey. And right now, Source is telling you to learn to love the journey and the process and don't focus so much on the outcome. So for example, if the outcome is, I want to make a million dollars, don't focus on that outcome. Martin Luther King said it best, focus on the next step, not on the entire staircase. Because when you focus on the outcome, it's like, sometimes it's unrealistic and it seems so far away, but also it's telling yourself, I am unhappy until I get that event I'm looking for. But if this is a attraction based universe, law of attraction has proven that through quantum entanglement, you don't have the luxury of doing that. You got to be happy now to attract happy things. So right now, focusing on the journey, learning to love the process, the journey, right? Telling yourself, I am so grateful that I live in a country where I'm able, able to even get a promotion. I am so grateful that I have, you know, uh, uh, food to pay, uh, uh, excuse me, money to pay my, uh, uh, my bills, food to eat, for example, clothes to wear, roof over my head. Focusing on those things are exactly how you track this monetized passion into your life. Now, speaking of passion, you got the lover's card, you got the emperor. So right now it's like confidence is something you find attractive and sources bringing someone into your life that is very ambitious and they are a go, they are a go getter. And right now source is telling you in order for this person to enter your life, first and foremost, conquer yourself and then you will conquer the world, which really means allowing the universe to bring this person into your life. Why is that? This person that who's very ambitious, charismatic, a go-getter, someone that really wants to, you know, help and guide you and be part of your life and really sees you for who you truly are. In order for you to make a first good impression on them, you too have to be confident. Because remember, like attracts like. That this person is looking for someone who's equivalent to them, right? So right now, focusing on your energy on really becoming confident, which really means obtaining knowledge. That's it. That's all confidence is. Like for example, someone who's confident in physically defending themselves knows martial arts. Someone who's confident in making money knows the market. Someone who's confident when it comes to love knows the human psyche. What does this person want? What does your soulmate want? 
They want what you want. What do you want? You want someone fun, exciting, positive, wakes up early, eats healthy. Boom, there you go. All you gotta do is become that person first. Now the universe will bring this person into your life every single time. You manifest who you are and not what you want. Now you got the Hermit and the Five of Swords. So some of you may be feeling brain fog or confusion, not knowing what your next move should be. That's only because you don't have heart coherence and trust yourself. And you can start trusting yourself by not striving for perfection, but instead progress. What does that really mean? Right now, if you don't know what to do, if you're like, oh, I don't know if I should go back to school, start a new job, uh, you know, if I should, you know, whatever your next move should be, you're having a hard time, you know, committing to it. It's only because you don't have heart coherence and you don't trust yourself. And you trust yourself when you're not putting so much pressure on yourself. So rather than be like, I need to be perfect, you need to say, I need to make progress. Rather than be like, I need to lose 10 pounds, you need to be like, I need to clear out the, the junk food in the cupboards. Rather than be like, I need to be rich, you need to say, I need to learn how to save, right? When you start looking for progress, progress guys, you take one step a day, lay one brick a day and you will build a castle. But it's about laying that brick and not looking at the castle saying, I wish I had that castle. It's all good, you're going to have that castle right now, Lay one brick a day. Now speaking of castles, six of wands, ace of pentacles, this is about making that progress we spoke of. And right now, Source is telling you that you are close to victory and you're being close to be handing a, uh, handed a miracle very soon here. And right now, to expect change, welcome change, and then this miracle will come. What does that really mean? Right now, imagine you're like, I want to get a job. I want to have a job that pays me a lot of money and the environment's good and I'm appreciated. Great. What does that really mean? That means that you have to give up your current job to get the new job. That is change. Change is scary to some because it is something, you know, uh, um, like uh, something that is, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Oh, it'll come back to me. But basically, it's not something that is determined, right? It is something that is kind of like uncertain, uncertain. But you got to understand, uncertainty is actually a breath of fresh air. Like, imagine if you knew what someone was going to say. It'd be boring. Imagine if you watched the same movie over and over again. Boring. You wear the same uh, clothes. Eat the same foods. It gets super boring. So, constant change, which is a constant, which is the only thing guaranteed is a breath of fresh air. Start welcoming change. Eat some new foods, you know, uh, uh, take a new route to work, um, you know, watch some new shows, you know, do something new, instill a new excellent habit, anything. Welcome change into your life. Make that your go-to and allow the universe to help and guide you. Now, speaking of change, you got the two of wands, the seven of wands, and this is about getting out of your comfort zone to make progress. And source is telling you to create a protective bubble around yourself right now and not be influenced when it comes to making change. And right now, source is letting you know that, you know, whether it's on social media, whether it's friends, family members, right now, do not let influence uh, dictate whether or not you do something. So for example, imagine you're like, you want to change your diet up because your current diet's not working, but then you know you go on social media and someone's tried it and it didn't work for them. So you're like, oh, I guess I'll stick with it. No, no, no. Don't let their influence, don't let that affect you. You gotta, you gotta really take that leap of faith for yourself. And I see here right now that some of you may be having a hard time taking that leap of faith because you're going back and forth. And right now, remember, like you find strength and simplicity. So make your life simple and easy and easy and good things will come. Now, this is a great segue into your affirmation for today. So your affirmation is about creating abundance into your life. Affirmations are the most powerful tools because it's, it's like effortless attention. That's really the definition of affirmation is effortless attention. And that's how you quantum entangle with abundance. So right now in the comment section, I want you to write down the following affirmation, super simple. I welcome abundance. That is it. You're inviting and welcoming. You're commanding, assuming, expecting. You're telling the universe abundance is my birthright. I'm aware and I welcome it. I'm open for business. Bring abundance into my life. You're not wishing, wanting, hoping, needing. No, no, no. You're commanding, assuming, expecting. You're wearing the crown. You're literally picking up your paycheck. That's what you're doing because this is your birthright. I welcome abundance. Write that down in the comment section. Let the universe know you are ready. All right, Scorpio, now let's pull your animal spirit. Wow, look at that sandpiper spirit. Look at the message, be playful. Why is that? Because when you are playful, what is the exact opposite of being playful, right? It means being serious. Being serious is the quickest way to lower frequency. No one wants to date someone serious. No one wants to hire someone serious. No, someone wants someone playful. But like for example, when I do business with someone, the first thing I tell myself is when I send this person an email, text message, or when I speak to them, are they going to make me feel good or am I going to have to get all serious, right? That's what's going on here right now. 
be playful, have fun, nothing is serious unless you make it serious and let the universe, allow the universe to help you by not forcing it, but instead taking possession of it, be playful. All right, Scorpio, hope you enjoyed reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.